Hi guys, it's me again, Maria, and welcome back to another Blanzilla video. And for today's vlog, I will be talking about one of the most common pests that might infest in your garden or might harm your plants at home. We did not take it simply considering how it affected one of our plants. And for those of you who are wondering how you could kill them and how you can stop it, and for those of you who are going through the same problem as mine, feel free to watch this video till the end so I can share with you some easy tips on how to treat them. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button beside it so you will get notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you are interested, then let's begin. guys i'm talking about the mealy bugs they are the mold like pest that might harm your plants they are usually confused with aphids however they are very different from them guys they are white and very similar to plant mildew or mold in terms of appearance you will notice them as soon as your plant soil where the plant lives in will immediately look like they're having molds in them they are very destructive and before you knew it they have damaged your plants this is exactly what happened to our plant here, our orange marmalade, in which hindi namin siya pinansin nung una kasi kala namin nagkakaroon lang siya ng molds kasi palaging umuulan but suddenly ito na pala yung problema niya. They are known to eat both indoor and outdoor plants along with the very soil that our plants live in. And this is the second petiole that they have damaged and when we say petiole, it is the slender stem that supports the blade of a foliage leaf. They rapidly multiply so before you knew it, they have damaged your plant completely. Magugulat ka na lang kasi sobrang perky pa nung halaman mo, sobrang green pa ng leaf pero bigla na lang magiging droopy and then yun pala nabubulok na yung petiole which is near the soil where the mealy bugs are staying. Normally kasi yung mga leaves ng mga philodendron na ganito, hindi basta-basta nalalanta o hindi basta namamatay yung dahon nila. And it will really take months. However, this is the second time around na ganito yung nangyari, green pa yung leaves, pero parang na nabubulok na siya. So this is really what happened and this is the cause of the problem. Ang problem kasi ng ganitong type of pest is that they will suck out the sap from our plants and after that they will leave a honeydew residue which will only further damage our plant kasi nag-a-attract siya ng iba pang bugs and ants as well. Even our farmers consider this as a serious threat kasi nga mabilis siyang nakakasira ng mga crops nila. And for the record, they rapidly multiply so it's really best to treat them before it's too late. So if you are going through the same problem or you'd like to know more for future reference, then feel free to watch this video till the end so I can share with you the DIY tips and how you can help it at home. So today for our pesticide, we will be using the hydrogen peroxide with a 3% solution and this is commonly known as aguaxinata here. Although you also have the option to get rid of millibugs naturally where you can use the essential oils for them. And the most effective oils were the citrus oils from lemon and orange peels. So we will just need the hydrogen peroxide. We opted for this one since our plant needs an immediate action. We'll just mix it with water. So we have the water here. So I'll give you the exact ratio of solution once we start. Or if you have an available apple cider vinegar, which is commonly used as a DIY pesticide, you may use it. However, you need to use a lot for it to be effective. The only problem with ACV or the apple cider vinegar is that it's very acidic and it can easily harm your plant. So you need to be careful with it if you plan to use it as a pesticide for mealy bugs. So since the Agua Oxenada is the most accessible pesticide at the moment, then this is what we will be using. And we will be also changing the potting mix for our plant. So we will be using the coco peat. Remember that it should be an aged coco peat and then the garden soil with cow manure. And we will be adding the vermicast right after. Since majority of these pests like to feed on the roots of the plant under the soil, so we'll have to uproot the plant. So we just have to carefully uproot the plant and pick off any soil stock on the roots. So we already have the small container for our peroxide later. So we'll start. Remember that we have to be extra careful in uprooting the plant because we don't know how far is the damage when it comes to the roots under the soil. Because if our plant is heavily infested, then there is a possibility that the roots below are already rotting. The hydrogen peroxide will kill the mealy bugs and even the eggs. But remember to avoid this doing too often because it can kill sensitive plants. 
That is the reason why we are also using water with it. We want to avoid getting the peroxide all over the plant because too much of it can be harmful and we don't want the desired effect to turn around. This is how the infected petio looks like. Green pa yung leaves niya, pero magtataka ka na lang, bigla na lang siyang nalalanta kasi pala nabubulok na yung nasa malapit sa roots niya. Kinakain na siya ng mealy bugs. So we really have to wash it well to remove the soil that are stuck on the roots para makita natin kung ano pa yung mga infected parts ng plant natin. Mealy bugs are slow moving, that's why you may not notice them at first. However, over time, pag notice na natin na meron na talagang cotton-like pest or mga parang molds molds yung lupang pinagtataniman, then we are surely dealing with the same type of problem. And so we must remove all of the soil na kasama sa pag uproot niya because they can survive under the soil for weeks at a time. Once it is totally cleaned up, so we'll get to see if there are other parts of the plant that is infected. So as we can see here, meron pa pala dito malapit na sa roots, malapit na mag-take over dito, and on the upper portion as well. So before we uprooted it, ito lang yung nakikita, ito lang. However, meron pa pala sa ilalim, mas grabe pa pala. So we must take an immediate action before it's too late for this plant. So kanina nung nasa pat pa siya, ito lang yung nakikita natin eh. Ito lang yung nakikita nating nabubulok. Pero meron pa pala dito sa ilalim. Mas grabe pa pala. So we really need to remove this so we can stop it from spreading to other parts of the plant. Remember to take out the, the infected parts. So talagang linisin mo yung mabuti. Yung wala nang natitirang mga bulok-bulok. Kasi nandun pa siya eh. There is a possibility na mananatili pa rin siya doon. Hindi siya totally mawawala kapag hindi talaga inalis yun. And there is a chance na kumalat pa siya kahit sinubukan na natin siyang tanggalin. We need to wash it again to make sure that we will also be removing the eggs which has the possibility to multiply in time. So we are now preparing the container with water and our ideal ratio would be 200 ml of water is to 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide. And we will be soaking the infected parts of the plant here for 10 minutes. So for us here, we are mixing three bottle cups of hydrogen peroxide to the water that we have prepared earlier. We just have to mix it well, so you have to stir it. So since the affected part of our plant is the roots, then we will dip it right after. We have to dip it and leave it for 10 minutes enough for the solution to penetrate on the roots so that it can kill the mealy bugs and also their eggs in here. There are so many ways on how you can get rid of mealy bugs. However, since we always choose the easiest and we already have this hydrogen peroxide beforehand, we chose this as our pesticide. For those of you na leaves lang naman ang infected, you may opt for pruning. However, it won't work for heavy bug infestations because you'll end up cutting down the whole plant. To ensure that we will also be killing the eggs, we poured hot water on the surface of the pot where it was planted because we will be replanting it on the same pot. So it's enough to kill what's left on its previous planter. So we just have to leave it this way until it dries up before repotting our plant. As we soak the plant, we're likely to see bubbles coming from the roots and this is normal. And if possible, you may dip the leaves or the entire plant in the solution if you notice there are egg sacs or mealy bugs on the actual leaves or stems of the plant. 2,000 years later. So since the pot is dried up, it's time to prepare the potting mix so we can replant our marmalade. So this is the cocoa peat. We will be using this and the garden soil with cow manure in it. So we just have to put them all together and then we will mix it thoroughly so that ready na siya. Napagtaniman natin mamaya kapag na-remove na natin yung marmalade sa solution na pinagbabala natin sa kanya. So guys, please do remember that we must quarantine our infested plants and we must not introduce it to our garden since it can easily spread to other plants. So the well-known COVID protocol applies here. Controlling the spread of mealybugs on our garden all lies in our due diligence. We really have to isolate it or to put it away from other plants so that if it needs an additional treatment, we can just treat it without infecting others. And for repotting, just like the usual, you just have to put a coconut fiber at the bottom of the pot before you add the potting mix so that the water will drain easily from the pot. Among those many ways, all you have to do is to choose where you are comfortable and what works for you because not all of them will work. All you have to do is to find the ones that work for you and scale them up. With proper management and control and along with patience and persistence, we can get rid of mealybugs that we currently have.
And if you are watching and then you will encounter this problem in a future, then you already have the idea on how to get rid of them and also why you should take an action immediately to stop them from spreading in your garden. So whether you choose the natural pesticides and repellents or you opt for the opposite, then it's really up to you as long as you can stop them from harming your plants. And remember to always check the new plants that you buy to make sure that they are not currently infested with this type of pests. So I guess that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for making it till the end of this video. It has been Maria, the voice of Planzilla Buhal. I'm so happy that you made it here and I cannot wait to see you again. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon beside it so you will get notified whenever we upload a new video. If you have questions, please do comment it down below. Thank you guys. Bye!